वेलकम एवरी वन माई सर प्रोफेसर डी एस मुंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मिल्क सो दिस इज इज द वन ऑफ द लेक्चर्स फ्रॉम द कोर्स डेरी एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग हैविंग कोर्स नंबर पी एफ ए थ्री फाइव फाइव एंड कोर्स क्रेडिट टू प्लस वन दैट इज थ्री सो दिस इज द कोर्स फ्रॉम फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर ऑफ बी टेक एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग डिग्री प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मिल्क सो मिल्क देर आर बे सम इम्पॉर्टंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मिल्क like physical properties chemical properties thermal properties electrical properties and rheological properties we will discuss all these properties in detail one by one so first is the physical properties of milk so in this first is the physical state of milk the milk constituents exist partially as a solution and partially in colloidal state in general milk is an emulsion of oil in water or fat in water with some of protein and salt as binding material or interface substances in colloidal suspension while milk sugar some protein and salts are soluble in water so color of milk milk ranges in color from yellowish creamy white to creamy white the larger the fat globule and higher the fat percentage the greater the intensity of the yellow color skim milk has a bluish and whey a greenish yellow color flavor of milk flavor of milk is composed of smell that is odor and taste the flavor of the milk is sweet or the taste of the milk is sweet the chlorides and lactose are mainly responsible for the taste of milk it is believed that more lactose makes milk sweeter a faint animal flavor is found in normal milk the density or specific gravity of milk it the density or specific gravity of milk is determined by using a plunger of special shape and volume called lactometer the common types of lactometer are zeal quivin etc in which quivin type lactometer is mostly followed in our country for the determination of density or specific gravity of milk the average lactometer reading for normal milk is commonly ranges from 26 to 30 for cow milk and 28 to 32 for buffalo milk these readings are changed to specific gravity of milk by prefixing 1.0 for example a reading of 29 indicates specific gravity of 1.029 so in this way we determine the specific gravity or density of the milk by using lactometer determination of specific gravity of milk is a quick test to detect the adulteration of milk with water and or other solids so if we add water or any other solids into the milk which decreases the density of the milk so this lactometer test is used to determine the adulteration of milk with water and or other solids so the next property of the milk is chemical properties the chemical property includes acidity of milk 
The titrable acidity of milk is easily determined against a standard alkali 0.1 normal any OH that is sodium hydroxide solution using phenolphthalein 1% in ethylene solution as an indicator. The titrable acidity of milk is usually expressed as lactic acid equivalent per 100 ml of milk and it may range from 0.13 to 0.21% pH of milk. So milk is slightly acidic in nature and its pH value varied from 6.5 to 6.7. The next chemical property of the milk is oxidation reduction potential. Oxidation reduction potential or it is simply known as redox potential is a measure of the oxidizing reduction capacity of a substance in solution. It is usually designated by EH and its value for milk is in the range of plus 0.2 to 0.3 volt. Electrical conductivity. This is the electrical property of the milk. Electrical conductivity is a measure of the ability of solution to carry electrical current. In milk, the fat and colloidally dispersed substances obstruct the ions in their migration and decrease conductivity. Values of electrical conductivity for normal milk range from 0 0.003 to 0 0.005 m horse per minute. Thermal properties of milk. This includes boiling point of milk. The boiling point of any liquid is the temperature at which at given pressure the material is in equilibrium both as liquid and as a gas. The presence of dissolved substances increases the boiling point of solution. The boiling point of milk varies from 100.17 to 101 degrees Celsius which is slightly higher than that of water and this is because of dissolved substances in the milk which increases the boiling point of water. Freezing point of milk. Milk freezes at an average temperature of minus 0 0.55 degrees Celsius. The basic the range is minus 0 0.5 to minus 0 0.61 degrees Celsius which is slightly lower than that of pure water that is water has freezing point of 0 degrees Celsius due to the freezing point depression when the normal milk is adulterated by watering the freezing point depression of such milk will less than that of pure milk Addition of 1% of water by volume to milk decreases the freezing point by minus 0 0.0055 degrees Celsius. The next thermal property of the milk is specific heat. It is of importance from practical standpoint as it gives idea of the cost of heating and cooling of milk. Heating operations such as pasteurization, sterilization, the specific heat of milk at 15 degrees Celsius is 3.92 kJ per kg degree Celsius. Thermal conductivity of milk. It is important because it determines how fast the milk is heated or cooled. At 20 degree Celsius, the thermal conductivity for normal milk range from 0 0.003 to 0 0.005 watt per meter Kelvin. Heat stability of milk. It is very important property for the processing of milk. It is defined as the length of time required to induce coagulation at a given temperature or 
temperature required to induce coagulation in a given time. Fresh normal milk is stable under common boiling condition. Coefficient of thermal expansion of milk. Ratio of increase in volume per degree of rise in temperature is known as coefficient of thermal expansion. This property is great importance in milk processing because when filling in vat is done with cold water for subsequent pasteurization one has to take into account the expansion that will take place on heating of milk. The next properties of the milk are rheological and other, pro other properties. Viscosity the viscosity of milk is always higher than viscosity of water due to the presence of dissolved solids in the milk. At normal temperature, viscosity of milk varies from 1.5 to 2 centipoise. 1 centipoise is equal to 0 0.01 poise, which is equal to 0 0.001 newton second per meter square. Refractive index. The refractive index of milk is sometimes used to indicate the adulteration, especially watering. So, from this topic, we can understand that the adulteration of milk with water can be identified using lactometer and by knowing the refractive index of water. The refractive index of milk at 20 degrees Celsius ranges from 1.344 to 1.3485, that of water being 1.33. Surface tension. The free surface of liquid behaves like stressed rubber membrane and tries to minimize the surface area. The tendency to minimize the surface area is possible when there is a tensile force present on the surface. This phenomenon is known as surface tension. It is due to this phenomenon drop of liquid or bubbles of gas in liquid become spherical as sphere has minimum surface area for the volume. Milk has surface tension of 0.05 0 newton per meter at 20 degrees celsius surface tension decreases as the temperature increases at 60 degrees celsius it is about 0 0.404 0 0.040 to 0 0.045 newton meter so thank you in this way we have covered the topic milk and milk properties so these properties uh, plays an important role in various processing operation of milk